Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. This is my second video in my Star Adventure GTI series. And if you missed the first one, we did an unboxing, we did an overview. We also installed the ADM saddle upgrade and I also visually showed you what 11 pounds of payload looks like on top of the Skywatcher GTI. So if you missed that, make sure you check that out. This video is going to be, at least the first part, is for our beginners. We're going to be looking at some of the pre-work y'all need to do before you get this mount out into the field. We're going to talk about balancing the mount, we're going to talk about polar alignment, we're also going to talk about the SynScan app because some of the information you need for polar alignment will be located there. And we're also going to talk about camera control because the Skywatcher GTI has the ability to control a DSLR or also a mirrorless camera. Now, the second part of the video is going to be about the Apertura case since this was made for the Skywatcher GTI, among other mounts in that class. So we're going to see what the quality is like, maybe if it's worth the price, and what it looks like inside the Apertura case. All right, so let's begin our pre-work. There is quite a few skills you're going to need to learn before you actually get your Skywatcher GTI out under the night sky. And trust me, you don't want to just go out there willy-nilly and try all these things at your dark sky site for the first time. So take some time out inside your home and learn some of these skills I'm about to show you. And here is my mount and I chose a DSLR and camera lens because most of our beginners will have the ex exact same setup. This exact same setup. <laughs> The first thing you're going to want to learn is how to level your tripod. And it's really important to have a level mount because you don't want things tipping over in the middle of the night. And how you do that is there is a bubble level on the front of the GTI mount. And how to get that is you release the right ascension clutch and the right ascension moves this way. and you'll be able to see the bubble level here. All you have to do is make sure that the bubble is in the center of the circle and you'll know that it is level. After that, you're gonna move on to balancing. And balancing is pretty easy, but you wanna to remember to balance in both RA axis, which is this way, and also declination, which is this right here. You're going to want to balance each access separately and you might have to experiment with the counterweights depending on how much payload you have on top of it. I have a lighter payload on top of my mount so I use a smaller counterweight. And if I had a larger telescope, maybe an astrocam, maybe a guide scope, I'll probably be using a larger counterweight. Also, you want to check for balance this way. So I'm going to check the balance in the RA and if it falls to one side, that means it's out of balance. You should just be able to put this in any position. It'll just stay there. Now I know this is bottom heavy because it is falling this way. If, if it was falling the other way, that means it's top heavy and I would need to move the counterweight back some. <laughs> this is back. <laughs> but we know it's bottom heavy, right? So I am going to move the counterweight this way. And we'll check the balance here, see what happens. All right. Awesome. It just kind of stays there, right? That's exactly what you want. You do the same thing in declination. You're going to want to lock it down, the RA. Lock the good old RA down <laughs> and uh, check your declination after that. And yeah, it's definitely out of balance, right? Look at that. So what I'm going to do is for safety, lock down the declination again temporarily and move this camera back a little bit because it seems to be front heavy to me. And then we'll check it again. So I'm going to unlock my deck. And there it is. Look at that. 
it's all balanced, right? Next up, you're going to want to learn to set your mount at the proper latitude. So let me show you where the latitude adjustment is, and I'll show you how to get the latitude that you're at. All right, it's time to set our latitude on the mount. And the reason why you want to set your latitude on the mount is because once you set the latitude and you face, in my case, the mount north, the mount north, <laughs> It'll be roughly facing my alignment star. In my case, that is going to be Polaris. And the latitude indexing is located here on the side of the Skywatcher Star Adventure. And how you adjust it is you're going to loosen up these two screws. And on the front is a adjustment knob and it moves everything up or down. I don't know if you can see that. But all you're going to need now is your latitude of where you are in the world. And you can find that on the SynScan app. So let me show you. So from the main screen, I already have it paired up right now. As you can see, the light is flashing. You're going to go to information and you'll see azimuth and altitude. And it's the altitude numbers that you want. You want the degrees on that. So for me, I am 47 degrees north right now. With that information, I'm just going to move my mount to 47 degrees. And then after that, I'm just going to lock it down so that after my tripod is leveled and it's balanced and I face this north, it will be roughly pointing at the north star for me, ready for polar alignment. And speaking of polar alignment, let me give you a crash course on some of those components. So here is the polar scope. It's underneath the dust cap. It also has a focusing adjustment knob on here as well. And to look through it, you have to loosen up the declination and move it 90 degrees. After that, you should be able to look straight through the polar scope. And you will also see a polar clock there. And what you want to do is put the, your alignment star, Polaris in my case, on that clock. But how do you know where on that clock you need to put it? Well, it's actually in the SendScan app. And from the home page, you're just going to go to Advanced and then Polar Scope and you'll see a green dot on there that symbolizes Polaris for me. So what I'm going to do with that information is use these knobs to turn my mount left and right and also adjust uh, my latitude or my mount up and down until Polaris is exactly where it was on the polar clock utility. After that's on there, your mount is actually polar aligned. So there's the crash course indoors of polar alignment. Of course, we're going to go out there and do it and shoot with this for the first time. But it's really good to familiarize yourself with all this beforehand because it makes your first night of imaging a lot easier. All right. Next thing I'm going to show you is how to set up the snap port on the Skywatcher GTI. First thing you're going to want to do is get a shutter release cable. I got this off Amazon. This is for my Nikon and it has a 2.5 millimeter jack there. I don't know if you can see that, but just so you know what that looks like. And I'm going to install it on my camera. Also know that you want to put your camera into bulb mode before you do this as well. And I know mine's in bulb mode. It's always in bulb mode. <laughs> But I bet, yeah, it's got some crazy aperture on that, but it should be good for this demonstration. All right, so this should plug in just like this, hopefully. And I'm going to plug this into the snap port. All right. I'm going to tilt that there so we can see the screen. And then we're going to go to our SynScan app. And from the home screen, you're going to choose Advanced. 
and then you're going to go to camera control. Here you'll see a timer, a start button, and also something called exposure groups. And we're going to edit this exposure group so you know how to do it. I'm going to press the three dots and it's going to bring me into another menu. And for this demonstration, I'm going to take two photos, one second each, and I'm going to leave that pause in between photos at five seconds. So let's see if it works, right? All right, let's go. Oh, there's one. Five second delay. There's a second one. Awesome, it works, right? There's also a bulb feature on here as well. Uh, basically, you can just hold down the shutter button as long as you want. Not sure what you would be using that for, but that feature is there. Alrighty, pretty easy, right? Well, now let's take a look at our Aperture case. All right, guys, welcome back to the desk. It's Aperture bag time, and let's take a look at it. It is nicely stitched and everything. We got Aperture on here. I think what's really cool is this is actually magnetic here on the top. So right here, we have magnets. Nice and secure. And here's the inside. This is what the inside looks like. Looks like we have a spot. I don't know, a little pocket for something. And then probably counterweights in here, GTI right there. And then we have our counterweight bar, looks like goes right here. So let's see what everything looks like inside, right? Okay, let's start with the counterweight bar. All right, that's pretty nice, right? You got a spot for the counterweight bar. And I'm assume that's for the counterweight. So I'm gonna put counterweight here. Maybe on its side would be good. All right, another one right there. Man, look at that. And I think I know what that little pocket's for. It's, I think it's for this thing. So we're gonna put it in here. And then we're gonna put our GTI in just like that. Wow, it fits it perfectly, look at this. I'm just going to zip it up like that. And it's all magneted up. And then it also has a carry strap. Perfect, right? And it is also padded. This is pretty nice. Uh, honestly, I'm not sure for the price it's retailing at, if it's worth it or not, but it's nice that everything fits in here just exactly. Uh, I do love that. And let's see how water resistant it is. I'm pretty sure we're gonna need to scotch guard this anyways, but let's just see what happens. Beads right up, not bad. Kinda, it's actually soaking in there right now. Definitely wanna scotch guard this. All right, guys, you can get this bag if you're interested in it at High Point Scientific. That's where I got it. And that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me on this Star Adventure GTI series. And I guess I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. <laughs>